Well, new tonight, the CDC reporting flu cases are rising in most areas of the country and relatively high right now in the southeast. Increased activity could mean an early flu season for us, and I did speak with a local doctor about what this means for you and your family. Destiny, every year we have the cold and flu season, and that typically starts in mid to late October and can go through the, the later months of the, of the winter. Dr. Michael Corrin says every year around October, flu season peaks, but this year the CDC reports an early increase in flu with more than 1,300 flu hospitalizations across the country right now. First Coast News caught up with people at a Riverside gas station who are already preparing for the worst. But I do give my kids vitamins as well as elderberries. Feeling like I need to get my flu shot, but sometimes that doesn't help, you know? Joanna Milton has two children, and she says she's taking action to keep them healthy. Doctors also warn against RSV, which is a respiratory illness common in children. Doctors reporting 98% of children will have the virus before age three. And this is a, a fairly common phenomenon that these uh, outbreaks start in kids. They're in school together. They congregate with each other. They don't socially distance themselves, of course, and so it's very, very common. The CDC reports the best way to protect against respiratory viruses like flu and COVID is to get vaccinated. There's no current vaccine against RSV, but doctors say healthy hygiene is best. I make sure that they're washing their hands. I have they don't have, they have their own personal hand sanitizer in their book bag. All right, some good advice. Thank you, Destiny.